PowerPoint is one of those tools that's been used and abused, but it's actually a really useful animation tool. You can insert images, add animation, transitions, and narration, and then save it all as a video. So let's take a look at how to create an animated video using PowerPoint 2013. First thing you should do is clear the slides of any templates or default boxes. You can do that by right-clicking and selecting the blank layout. You want this to look like your video, not a PowerPoint presentation you've seen a million times. Next, you will start to build your graphics. You can either use one bold image or create a scene that will have some movement to it. Now you can add some animation. You can choose something simple like fate or something more complex like a motion path. Whatever you choose, try to make it simple or smooth. You don't want people getting seasick from watching your video. The general rule is you want something happening on the screen every three to five seconds. Longer than that and your viewers might get bored. Shorter than that and it might be too frenzy. Make sure you use bold colors like white, black, or yellow. Pale graphics might get lost on the screen. And make sure your graphics fill the entire screen like this. Also, try not to use too much text. You don't want your viewers reading your video. Now you can add some background music. On your first slide, click on the Insert menu, select Audio, and then Audio on my PC. Browse to find the music file. Click Insert and then Play in Background. Make sure to test the music. If it's too loud, just lower the volume. If you don't have a music track, you can find one on a site like Gemendo or the YouTube Audio Library. If you have any trouble with the music track not playing in PowerPoint, try converting it to a WAV file before you insert it. You can use an online converter like online-convert.com. Once you're done creating your slides, you can record some narration and then save it all as a video. First, you'll need a headset. You can borrow one from the library or purchase a decent one for around $20. Plug your headset in and edit the settings to make sure your headset is the default recording device. This is what it looks like in Windows 7. When you're ready to record, go to the Slideshow tab and click on Record Slideshow. You can either start from the beginning or record the slides one at a time. Keep in mind, if you record one slide at a time, the audio might not sound smooth or conversational, so just try to keep it as natural as possible. As you record the narration, just transition through the animations and slides like you normally would in a presentation. Be very careful not to speak when one slide is transitioning to the next, or else your voice will get cut off during the transition. Supporting a wide variety of mobile devices in different locations introduces many new factors. When you are done your narration, just keep transitioning through the last slide. It takes a couple of seconds to end the recording, so just be patient. When it's finished, you should now see speaker symbols on each slide. Open a slide and test the audio to make sure it recorded properly. To save this as a video, click on Save, Save As, and then select either Windows Media Video or MP4. You'll notice that it doesn't save immediately. You can see by the progress bar. Videos usually take the duration of the video to save, so if your video is one minute long, it'll take a minute to save. Don't forget to save your PowerPoint in the usual slide format too, just in case you want to come back and change your slides. Are you ready to get animating? Don't forget to visit our site to check out some of our services and facilities. And as always, you can contact us if you have any questions. Do you have any questions?